Hey there guys and welcome to another Inktober video and I'm going to be drawing a pumpkin banjo. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, in Banjo-Kazooie, Banjo turns into a pumpkin at one point. I think it's uh, the level that's called Mad Monster Mansion or something. So yeah, I thought that'd be a really cute one to try out and see if I can draw. My reason for trying to go, uh, I just kind of want to see if I can make this one a little bit simpler tonight because I really cannot be spending as much time as I did on the Kako Demon. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna go and start sketching out the pumpkin banjo. So again, I'm adding what looks like a bit of a crosshair to the oval and that's my way of trying to map out where the eyes are going to go. It also gives me a sense of like three dimension too, so when I start adding his little uh, yellow trousers, or shorts, whatever you want to call it, I can kind of like wrap round the form a little bit more knowing where the three dimension is in this pose. I do this a lot with faces, especially. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I've put something in Kazooie's backpack here. It's funny because in the game, when Banjo turns into a pumpkin, you don't really see Kazooie in the bag. And I've always wondered like what Kazooie turned into. So I think I'm just kind of going to joke around with this one and make it seem like that she's like a little red-eyed demon of some kind in there. Leave it to uh, imagination what you think she may have turned into. I'm going to go straight into inking the drawing. So again, I'm using a 0.1 uni pin fine liner. Okay, now we're going to rub out the pencil lines. So I think what I'm going to do this time, instead of going straight into doing the second layer of ink, I'm just going to shade and colour it first before I do that. Because inevitably I find myself having to re-ink it anyway. Uh, mostly because I think the ink just sort of fades a little bit as you're applying the marker pen. So I'm going to do that now. I'm just going to pick out the colours that I need. I need an orange, a blue. I'm going to use this colour for the shorts and the black for the belt. Maybe I might not use that colour for the shorts. 
that could do with being put on the stalk of the pumpkin there. I'll see what happens with the colours that I've got currently. I'm going to start shading with these chosen colours. Start off with the black belt. But yeah, Banjo-Kazooie is an all-time childhood favourite and one of the best Rare games, I would say. I was so, so happy when I heard about Banjo-Kazooie being in Smash. That was just absolutely amazing. But I will say that maybe one of the scariest levels that I played in Banjo-Kazooie, which I, I would imagine is unintentionally meant to be scary too, was uh, Clanker, Clanker's Cavern. We had that big giant rubbish disposer fish. I think he's meant to be like a, a fish that eats garbage basically in the water. But yeah, I wasn't too, too much of a fan of that one at the time, but then I, I don't know, as I grow older, of course it kind of um, didn't scare me as much and I just ended up feeling more sorry for him because he was in dirty water and it didn't seem like a very nice situation to be in. So. Funny how your perception of things can change. Okay, so we're going to use the marker pen. I'm going to use a soft peach a cup, cool aqua, and I think that's it to be honest. Okay. Actually, before I do any inking, I think it might be good to actually see what happens if we put some highlights on first. So I'm going to get the white gel pen out and just start adding a few uh, little highlights here and there. Okay, so I'm going to try and finish it off with some more inking. So we're going to carry on and go over the baseline again.
There we go. So this is the final result. I hope that you guys liked it. Be sure to let me know in the comments below if there are any characters you'd like to see me draw and I can make a video out of it. Uh, in the meantime guys, thank you all so much for the wonderful support. It really, 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 really does mean a lot. Um, I hope to see you all in the next one. You will take care of yourselves guys.